Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. I'm actually at my campsite right now and it is a little bit too dark in my trailer to do this intro. So I apologize for the little bit of a noise from the outside living, but this is um, my option. And I mean, like, look at this view. Why not do this intro outside? I'm actually enjoying the little bit of time I have left camping. So um, I'm taking advantage of this. So in today's video, I am taking um, three thrift store items and give them a completely new look. And I absolutely I am in love with the results. So you want to stick around and check it out. Grab a nice warm cup of tea and let's get started. I have found these beautiful canister uh, set at the thrift store. There are all solid wood and what really got me is um, the little apple on top of the canister so I took them and give them a really really good clean and now I'm going to give them a makeover the first thing I'm doing is taking 180 um, grit sandpaper and I'm going to give this um, a good sanding uh, but not too elaborate I'm not trying to take the paint off of these canister I'm just trying to get rid of the shine so as long as you get rid of that shine um, you're all good I just want to make sure that the paint adheres really well to these canister set I just love these little wooden apples on the top of these canister covers, uh, but I'm going to remove them in order to give the covers a good sanding. And I'm going to leave the little apples as they are. I don't want to touch them, so I'm going to remove them. And here is the set all um, sanded. Um, it's not uh, rough sanding, it's only a light sanding, just enough to make sure that my chalk paint will adhere to it really well. Um, and I actually um, give them a really good wipe to make sure there was no dust. Now I'm taking some of my homemade white chalk paint and I am going to start painting these jars. And what I'm doing here is using a nice um, smooth brush and I'm going to paint all around these jars but I am leaving the uh, two um, trims that you see um, intact. So I'm going to be very careful and make sure um, that I'm not getting any paint on these two stripes. I have given these um, jars a really good clean, but it's there is still some stain inside of the containers and I'm not liking that look. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside as well. I have to do these jars in section as I want to paint the bottom as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint the trim around the edge and the bottom part, but I'm not painting, um, um, I'm guessing that wood trim like I did on the top. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing, not touching that wooden trim. I want that to stay there, but I want everything else in the jar to be white. Thank you. 
all the jars are painted at least one coat and now I'm going ahead and I'm applying actually three more coats of this paint all over. Now I'm taking a very fine grid sandpaper, I think it's 360 grid, yeah, and I'm sanding all over this canister on the outside, not on the inside but all on the outside to give it a nice smoother finish. Now I want to give these jars a nice rustic feel so I'm applying more pressures in some areas in order to bring some of that wood back through and give it a nice worn out look. And now I'm giving these a really really good wipe. I created myself a label for my canisters um, in my Cricut Design Space and I am printing that on tissue paper. I have applied one coat of this clear matte uh, finish uh, protector, um, but that wasn't enough. I should apply three coats, let it dry in between because um, that's to avoid smearing when you apply these and it's still smeared a little bit, but that's okay. Now I'm leaving my design onto the cardstock as it make uh, it much easier uh, in order to cut your design. Now that I have my designs all cut up, I'm using a small paintbrush and I'm using some matte Mod Podge and I'm simply going to uh, apply these little logos onto my canister with the Mod Podge method. I have shown this method on other videos so I'm not going to get too much into it um, but I'll still um, show you uh, quickly um, how to apply it. I'm applying three coats of this Mod Podge and I like to dry with a hair dryer in between and sometimes I push a little bit to make sure there's no air bubble but you have to be very gentle as you can tear the tissue paper and if I have a little bit of wrinkle in there I'm okay with that because I am looking for a rustic look so that's all good. Now I'm taking a bristle brush with some of my white homemade chalk paint and I'm very very lightly white brushing this um, all over my canister including the uh, wood trim on the top and bottom but like I said very lightly I don't want the white to be heavy I want this to be a very fine um, distress look. And I'm going to do the very same thing with each cover of the canister set. Now 
Now I decided that I didn't want the apple to be whitewashed so I'm just taking a wipe and I'm just wiping the paint off the apple only. I want that apple to stick out a bit more. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my little wooden apple um, handles um, and I'm going to screw them back to each one of my canister covers. Now that all my four uh, canisters are done and ready along with the utensil holder, I'm going to go ahead and take them outside and I am going to give them a three coats of um, the clear protector um, in the matte finish and I'm going to allow to dry between each coat. I'm not spraying inside of the canister as I want to make these uh, food safe. So I am going to order a different kind of protector for the inside of these canister to make sure that we can go ahead and put the food inside of them. And here is the final result. These canisters turned out so, so nice. They are very unique. It is very hard to come by a set of wooden canister of this type. And to add a little bit more of a touch, I went and purchased some um, red and white plaid um, dishcloth and put them inside the canister to give them a little bit more of a country feel. I already have a beautiful set of canister that I created for myself, but I have no idea how I'm going to manage to part with these ones. I absolutely love them. I found this uh, black holder, it's some type of a holder, um, and I'm simply going to take some spray uh, chalk paint in um, white linen the same color is the canister and uh, this is what it looks like after three coats of paint allowing to dry in between and i found this beautiful huge apple at the thrift store as well and i'm simply going to place it on top of this holder as a decorative piece to go with the canister set I found that the apple and the stand was missing a little something so I just had a little bit of greeneries in the bottom part and it just um, adds that little touch that it needed. I also found this black rack at the thrift store and what really got me is the apple on the very top of it. It has no containers or bowl or inside of it but that's okay because I found a piece that will match perfectly. I found this metal strainer and all I'm doing with this is removing the handle and giving this a really really good cleaning. I'm giving this black rack three coats of the same spray chalk paint in white linen and this is what it looks like uh, all painted up. So I'm going to go ahead and put my metal strainer inside of it and I'm also going to use a, one of those uh, dishcloth that I purchased in the red and white plaid just to give it that nice country feel and I am going to fill this um, with some real apples. Mm -hmm. 
And here is the result. It's amazing what a few coat of paint can do to an item. I really love the look of this. Um, I love the metal look of uh, the strainer with the white. It looks very clean, but I also I thought it was missing a little bit of something, so I added some of the same greeneries as the big apple just to give it a really nice uh, finish. And here are some of the projects side by side just to give you an idea what it would look like on a counter. Um, these three items uh, go so well together. As you can see, I had it a little bit of greenery into the utensil holder as well just to blend everything else perfectly together. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I am absolutely and totally in love with this uh, set. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to part with these, I think. Um, I might see some <laughs> apple decor in my future for my home. So um, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I wanna hear all your comments as usual and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you liked what you see it's the perfect time to hit that red button so guys have yourself a wonderful day